So we're, we're actually in uh, doing our zero buck bounce drive right now for beta two of Whidbey. And so basically twice a week we have the coffee cart coming in. One to three for the CLR team. CLR team only. Yep. So one to three in the afternoon, Tuesdays and Thursdays, it's time to come in, grab some caffeine, grab some Great. sugar, go crank on those bugs and make sure that... Yep. Uh, and it's, know, free. it's free. It's free. It's free. Yes. Come work for me, free coffee. Yeah. We've got our... Uh, you know, running our little monitor here basically to show us, you know, what the current status is. We're in our go dark week, which means no meetings, everybody cancel their stuff, mm -hmm. get to work and start fixing bugs. Yeah. Wow, that's a pretty small looking bug count. Yep, it's Great. getting better. Yep, there's a beta too. I mean, the, the, the customer, the CTP drops and stuff that we have out there, you know, uh, those are down in this way. <laughs> hey, so this is Michael Stanton. He's our, our developer lead for uh, for the QRT, which is, uh, you know, a group that Basically, looks at all of our stress debugging and other pieces like that. What the, yes. Show us what you're working yeah, on. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. So, um, something I'm working on right now is an extension that we've added to the Windows debugger to, to let us debug uh, GC heap corruption issues. So, those are kind of especially uh, tough to debug sometimes because in the garbage collect heap, objects are moving all the time. So, what happens is some guy uh, loses track of the object. So let me show you this function right here. So I've got an object in the heap, um, and here's the address. And what I'm doing is I'm tracking back through time what the, the object used to be at previous GCs. We see at GC number 283, we had this value. And over here, I'm listing a common delimited set of roots that are, that are keeping that object alive. This is basically the uh, the right column is is the the object graph that are making sure that this is not garbage, and mm -hmm. this column right here, if I got this right, is basically every time the collector moves the object, that's the new value based on which collection it was. Exactly. This yeah, this this guy right here is the new value, and these guys are the roots. And you can see that if we go back about 20 GCs, there was only one root for a while. This lonely 12E840 guy. <laughs> And then, you know, it was a party again. We had, like, two roots uh, keeping this object alive. Um, so that's really helpful um, when debugging that kind of bug. And as a matter of fact, uh, we have a bug that, thanks to this DLL, it, it can save us what might take at least a couple of hours to figure out. I'm on an AMD64 machine, and uh, I've run this program. Let's see if we start it up. It's that, oh, I have to run init to initialize our structures, and then I'll run stats, which is going to tell us um, all the GC information it found. And this warning message is really cool. It found that um, there's a root that we, that we reported to the GC multiple times. And that's a no-no. We're not supposed to do that, and that leads to the corruption. So now that we know that, um, we can go in and figure out uh, why somebody did that twice. Normally, just getting to that step would, would take a while. So, yeah, so that's something I'm excited about. So, like I mentioned before, right, and when we talked about dangling pointer references, this is exactly the kind of stuff that if you're writing unmanaged code, yeah. you know, typically you'd have to be tracking down your pointers in exactly the same way, sure. right, which is really painful. So, here, you got Michael working for you full time, figuring this kind of stuff out, so you don't have to do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely fantastic. That's right. Cool. Cool. Great Thanks, job. Mike. All right. Cool. Well, keep it up. Well, we have, you know, dev tests and PM everywhere. Hey, Jason. Hey, Wei Wen. How you doing, man? Good. How are you? Doing good. There's a Channel 9 guy here. Hi. Uh, so Wei Wen is one of our one of our developers, uh, and he works on primarily SQL Server, the integration we're doing there with the server-based code and things like that. And uh, also, we rely on him to do a bunch of, you know, some of that bit fiddling sort of stuff we talked about before. What you, what you working on? So I'm working on the bug that's coming from SQL Server Stress Run. Okay. So in we'll the bug, it's the, a log is orphaned. And then okay. uh, many students waiting on that log. It looks like say, we are doing correct, we are unloading that domain, but somehow the, there were stress blocking there, and then there okay. are different domain. So there were multiple problems uh, there. First, yeah. the log is not released. The second thing is, uh, how come another domain get access to this object? Yep. So there were, there were multiple problems trying to track down. We have been working on this for several days now. They just say we don't have enough information and just have to guess what's go what happened yep. and then look at the source code and then maybe add more logging and then try to track down the bug. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is one of the toughest bugs. Yes. You don't have enough info. When you get the failure, it's way past the past what happened before. Yeah. 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 
Yeah, right managed code is looking a lot easier all the time. Isn't yeah. It? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. So I mean, if you get a deadlock problem, yeah. then basically your your whole server could lock up. Yeah. Right. So mm -hmm. I mean, this if, if Waywind didn't figure out and fix this bug, then you know the, what you'd see as an administrator of that database machine is it would just stop working. Yeah. You go over and kick the big red switch, right. recycle it, and start again. So we spend a ton of time doing stress debugging and things like that to make sure we catch that stuff here, mm -hmm. get it fixed, deal with it quickly. Yes. That's not so right. And it's not uncommon for some of these bugs, like you, like you mentioned. Sometimes you do take two or three days actually yeah. on one bug. Just, one just bug looking for the needle in the haystack. Yeah, something yeah. just takes a long time. So you don't have enough info when stress happens. We, I wish I I'm I'm I I was a mach I was a machine I can know what happened <laughs> just <laughs> yes. maybe several hours ago what happened. <laughs> yep, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, you need a time machine to step backwards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. We're okay. Sherlock Holmes here. It's great. We need to get yep. you a pipe. Where's <laughs> 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 the GC hole? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. Thanks. Thanks.